How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be looking at the five best sources for rot in the early game. This is going to be focusing on don't starve together but a lot of it will also apply to standard single player don't starve. You might be wondering why would you ever want rot? Well number one the booster shot. Uh, for those who are playing Don't Stop Together, obviously, the booster shot can be fairly important to keep more accident-prone players in the game, right? You're going to be needing some rot for that. The other frequent use for rot, of course, is to fertilize plants when you after you transplant them. Things such as berry bushes and grass need to be fertilized, and fertilizing those with rot is just as effective as fertilizing them with manure, unlike the actual gardens. The order in which I'll be listing these plants range from the most amount of time required for the plant to turn into rot to the least. So at number five, we have petals. Now petals take six days to rot entirely while in the player's inventory. They are available in all three versions of the game. Don't starve together, don't starve reign of giants, and don't starve shipwrecked. So no matter which variant of don't starve you're playing, you're always going to have petals available to you. Number four is going to be light bulbs. Light bulbs rot in six days, so they are tied with petals. Light bulbs can be found on both the cave level and the ruins level. They're not capable of being transplanted, so you're going to always have to return to that area to acquire more. And given the fact that light bulb plants, which bear one light bulb, will regrow within three days, they are a much more long-term solution to readily available rot versus petals. The downside to this, of course, is the fact you'll actually have to go into the caves to get a hold of them. Number three is cooked berries. These are standard berries, which are found throughout Don't Starve, Don't Starve Reign of Giants, Don't Starve Shipwrecked, and Don't Starve Together. Now, you might be quite tempted to actually use berries for food, but you should know that if you cook them, their usual spoil time of six days is reduced to three days, which means that you can readily get your hands on a good deal of rot from the upper world within a relatively short amount of time, shorter than the petals and shorter than the light bulbs, without a whole lot of effort. It's a good deal of rot to get you jump started towards transplanting new plants. Number two is by far more exclusive. It is lichen, and most of the time you'll only run into this source of rot if you're actually doing some sort of survival in the ruins playthrough. Now the lichen will rot in two days but you can only find it in the ruins. So it's very exclusive. It does regrow, so you don't actually have to worry about it being a finite resource. And it is an excellent source, obviously, of rot in those underground worlds, especially given the fact that it can only otherwise be used inside crockpot recipes, as eating it raw will hit you for a decent chunk of sanity. And that can be an issue when you're in the ruins, unless you're playing a character like Maxwell. Much like light bulbs, lichen can be found in pretty much any game with the ruins available to it. So in other words, we're talking about don't starve, don't starve reign of giants, and don't starve together, providing caves have been enabled for the world. It runs on a separate server, so this is not a guaranteed option. Which brings us to number one, that being the recent addition of juicy berry bushes to don't starve together. Now, juicy berry bushes are a variant of berry bush and you're not guaranteed to see them in every world. So this is quite a situational option, but if you do find them in your world, know that by cooking them, you'll have rot within one day as they spoil that quickly. The raw version of Juicy Berries will rot in two days. Now, Juicy Berries are only currently available in Don't Starve Together, and they're not guaranteed to be in every Don't Starve Together world as they are a berry variant. Juicy Berries are not available in Don't Starve, Don't Starve Reign of Giants, or Don't Starve Shipwrecked as of this recording. Now, it should be noted that an alternative to waiting for all of these resources to rot is simply feeding them to a were pig. Each and every one of the resources I have listed here will be digested by a were pig and turned into manure almost instantly. So if you have convenient access to a were pig, that is ultimately going to be the fastest method for getting a fertilizer for your plants. 
However, it should be noted that you obviously can't build the booster shot with manure, so in that case, you would have to be waiting for these plants to turn into rot. Anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas for your future games. If you have a personal favorite plant that you regularly use for a source of fertilizer or a source of rot, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time.